Hello guys, welcome to another month of wedding planning. We are now in the six month wedding planning phase, but it's actually like five and a half months till the wedding. Um, we're a couple of weeks into the month already and I've just got around to picking up the camera. It's the end of a very long day, if you can't tell. Um, I've just put Luke out of bed and I just wanted to pick up the camera and really quickly show you something um, and kick off this vlog. So what I wanted to show you was our evening invitations, which I'm really happy with. So I designed these myself um, and basically this is our venue, Woodhill. I'm just covering the, uh, the date there of our wedding but this is basically a photograph of our venue um, of the teepees because we are having our evening reception in the teepees at Woodhill um, and basically I'm not a huge fan of themes but for the evening invites I just wanted to do something a little bit fun and a little bit themish um, and because it's like teepees with, we're going to have a live band kind of festival-y ish I mean it's not a festival and we're not going to do like the gimmicky stuff like wristbands and stuff but Johnny's really into festivals that's kind of his thing so I just thought we'd go with a little hint of a theme um, and do a ticket style invitation basically used Canva to mock up this design they have loads of templates on there and it's just got the simple details it's got our wedding website it's got a little tear off RSVP slip um, and yeah, it's like super simple, but I'm just really happy with it. I think it's simple, but effective. I think it looks good. I don't think it looks like I made it myself. And I basically have a print services where I work. I work at a university um, and we have lots of different teams and I work in marketing. So I'm used to doing all of this kind of stuff professionally. So I just approached our print services at work and asked if they would print this. And they do, they do it for students. They do it for the public. Like you can just book stuff in. Um, and my quote for 40 of these was £16. So obviously it cost me nothing to create them. I did it all myself. And yeah, I mean, £16 for 40 is like an incredible bargain. I was looking on Etsy for anything like, anything that wasn't even a fully bespoke design was like £50 plus. Um, so I'm super, super happy with these because they are completely like personalised to us. So yeah I just wanted to show you those really quickly we've already started giving them out and I'm going to be giving them out to people at my work really soon um but yeah that was just my first bit of DIY really for the wedding that I've done and I'm super happy with it so um I'd say the theme of this month so far five and a half months out of the wedding is stress <laughs> I feel very stressed and kind of overwhelmed um mainly because it's got to the point where it's kind of like having to deal with people and rely on people um and it's that sort of saying of like you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink um so I can kind of micromanage to the nth degree but that final little bit of the work like the person has to do themselves it's just that sort of thing that's sort of like getting stressful so the main thing is our church we're having a church wedding and our reverend's been MIA for quite a few months. I finally managed to speak to another reverend in the parish who has said that basically, from the gist of it, I haven't been told, but I think our reverend's been off sick. Um, and she's not due to be back before Easter at the very soonest, which is obviously a little bit stressful um, because we need her for decisions like the order of service. I need to book in our rehearsal with her and all sorts. So that's been quite stressful. So like I said, I got in touch with another reverend who was basically on our reverend out of our... Um, yeah, so she was really lovely, but she really panicked me. So her original reply to my email when I forwarded on like my trail of emails I'd sent to our reverend um, and just said, kind of said, are you able to help? Like, I'm just receiving the out of office of, of the reverend. And she replied, like, basically asking us when we were hoping to be married, which really panicked me, like... I felt absolutely sick because obviously the wedding is in a few months and it's been booked since October 2022 and I just thought oh my god it's not in the diary um and yeah that was a really horrible moment and that was just like I was just full of anxiety I was going out for a run when I got that and I started my run and I just it was the first time I had to stop because I felt so like sick and just panicked um, and overwhelmed really and anyways 
I tried to ring her a few times and didn't get an answer so I left Nancy for a message just saying that um, I was a little bit panicked at the thought that it might not be booked in the diary and she sent me an email that evening saying not to panic not to worry like it was in the diary it was just the fact that our reverend hadn't like passed the message on and um, because this reverend covering she's from a different sort of area of the parish she wouldn't normally be working in the area of the parish that our reverend covers um so she was very reassuring and then she gave me a call a few days later and we chatted through stuff and she was really really lovely so she put my mind at ease but that was just very 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 stressful um and it sort of coincided with a very busy and stressful week at work as well um so yeah i'm feeling the pressure a little bit it's just kind of like trying to organize everyone everyone who's in the wedding party like because it's a two-day thing we've got lots of like timings and I'm working on all the schedule of everything of the day and the morning feels quite tight because I'm fitting quite a lot in but yeah that's just kind of where I'm at at the moment I've been working on a lot of like admin -y stuff still so I've been doing all of our like stationery I've been working with someone on that and um, our order of service I'm kind of putting together even though I need our reverend back to sort of sign it off um just trying to get everything to a point where hopefully it'll be either tiny amendments or just saying to like print um so yeah that's kind of where we are this month i'm not too sure what's going to be going on we've got a really really busy month i am at a hen do and then my friend's getting married like next month um we have a baby shower for johnny's brother and sister-in-law um my brother and sister-in-law to be so yeah we we just have loads on like loads more as well as that luca's got some parties and things so we've got a lot going on I'm not too sure what i'm going to be picking up and capturing um but i'm sure there'll be plenty so i've just got home from work and i've got three parcels waiting for me so i am gonna quickly run upstairs and open them they're all sort of wedding related i've got one from boots one from sheen and one from vinted although the one from vinted i'm assuming is this one should be a dress so i'm really confused why it's in a fragile box but let's go and find out um i've actually just got back from having my nails done for the first time in well i think probably since we got engaged was the last time i had my nails done um and i've gone for it's like a chrome red and chrome did not exist when i used to get my nails done this is like quite a new thing but it's completely new for me and i absolutely love it anyways <laughs> i've got my parcels and i'm gonna get them open i'm gonna start with the vintage parcel because i'm really confused why it's in a box and i'm really worried that vintage have mixed up my parcels and i've got the wrong thing so hopefully not fingers crossed it's the right thing okay this should be addressed to be fair it feels like a dress i'm wondering if they've just used a box that they already had that they got something fresh out of it that would make sense because i reuse all of my like delivery boxes for stuff that i sell good for the planet and good for the budget looks like the dress so if you've been following my vlogs you will know that um we are having a second wedding in italy and it's very much a like full wedding but we're not doing like loads of bridesmaids and all of that stuff like the wedding party but i've basically asked my maid of honor carolina to be like my one sort of bridesmaid over there so i needed to get her a dress which she could wear for that which would go with like my dress because i've got a different wedding dress for italy um, and I found this on Vinted and I loved it and I just thought it would go perfectly with my dress which I absolutely love it in person, it actually will. Obviously you don't know what my dress looks like but oh that is absolutely stunning. I'm so happy with that, it's like a like a blush um, underlay and then it's got like a light pink lace on top and blush is sort of the colour theme that I'm going for with... Um, with the Italy wedding so it's really hard to see in this light but it's really really pretty so happy with that and I think I got it for like eight pounds which is insane um so yeah oh I'm so happy with that I'm gonna have to go and send her some pictures okay my next parcel's from Sheen I'm absolutely loving Sheen for the wedding stuff because 
it's really reasonable and it's actually decent enough quality like most of the stuff because I have ordered a couple of bits from Timu and the quality definitely isn't there for that. I'm actually going to show you some stuff that I've ordered from Timu at some point in this vlog. Um, and they totally do the job and I want it like as cheap as possible and they fit that brief but they're really not like good quality, not something that would stand the test of time at all. Whereas I feel like Sheen actually is stuff that's perfectly fine quality. So as I've just mentioned I've got the Italy wedding and I'm actually going to DIY my bouquet for Italy. Um, and I actually got a few flowers already and just realised that I probably needed one more little set because they basically come in this little pack of like little bits so I've got three and this is my fourth piece to put together my bouquet um, these were literally £2 for one of these so I've made my whole bouquet for under a tenner um, and yeah they're like absolutely fine in terms of like fake flowers I know you can't see very well I will put my bouquet together and show you my bouquet I also got a little Just Married banner, obviously it's like deconstructed so you can't see it but that was a couple of quid and I just thought we could probably pop it up somewhere at the venue or use it for photos, like yeah I just thought I couldn't really go wrong and could probably make use of it for something, I was thinking maybe for like our thank you um, cards we could maybe set that up and have like a professional photo taken um, and then that might work for our thank you cards. So along with my flowers, I needed some flowers to make the like buttonholes for the groomsmen and I actually sell these like little individual flower heads, um, I don't know if you can see, they're like a little very light blush colour and I thought they went perfectly with the flowers that I've got in my bouquet. Um, yeah, so I ordered them, it was a pack of, a pack of five. And they, again, they were like a few quid. I can't remember exactly how much they were, but you can just attach something to them to make them buttonholes and they'll just be perfect. Okay, I also got from Sheen another potential evening dress. I feel like I've tried a million on and I'm just not getting it quite right, but Sheen bring out so many, like, so many different dresses constantly. Um, so I've got another one that I thought might work, so I've ordered that. Obviously, I'm not going to show you it. Let me show you a little little peek but um, I'm going to try that on now and hopefully I might like this one. Okay so my last box is actually a boot order and it's full of hair products, makeup products, beauty products because I'm very much in the phase of wedding planning where I feel like I need to try every product out there um, and I'm really trying to get a routine nailed down um, that I can just focus on and I think I'm like 95% there so there's just a few more products I wanted to try um, and I got a bit carried away and got a good, um, got a few good deals like on three for twos and things and free gifts. I am planning to do a vlog that's all about like my skincare, hair care, like self care routine in preparation for the wedding um, because it's just too much to go through. So I'm going to do a separate vlog on that um, because I know that I've really struggled um, and I would really appreciate recommendations on things that have worked for the people because there's just so many products out there that promise to do all these amazing things um, and it's really difficult to navigate so that vlog's definitely going to be coming in the not too distant future. Please excuse the huge pile of laundry, I just never seem to be able to keep on top of it. I've literally done two lots of laundry today but between myself, Johnny and a two-year-old who goes through like 10 different outfits a day at the moment between nursery and potty training and just like messy play um yeah I just can't keep on top of the laundry but what I wanted to show you was the fake flowers that I've got for my Italy bouquet so I was talking about this yesterday um and I got all the flowers out from under here actually I'm storing everything for the wedding under my bed um so this is like an individual one if I just try and show you and it's sort of fake I don't even know is it fake peonies and little sort of rosebuds um sort of like blush and sort of a I don't know a beigey yeah they're not white they're sort of a creamy beige flower and I got four individual bunches they were like two pounds something each I'm just gonna bunch them together to make a nice sort of rounded bouquet and then 
I will obviously secure them with like twine or something. And then that will basically be my Italy bouquet. Um, and the reason I'm going for like fake flowers is because one expense, we've got all of like our flowers for England, they're all fresh. Um, and you know, for Italy, we're doing it on much more of a budget. Um, also, I'll be able to pre-prepare these and take them with me. Um, obviously, I can't meet with any florists or anything in Italy and I think it would just be a bit more stressful trying to do it with a florist as well as a lot more expensive. So they're literally just for the church. Um, I'm not going to need them for anything else. So I just wanted to go simple and just have a little something to hold, but they're really not a big deal for the Italy wedding. So I'm really, really pleased with this. I mean, these four bunches have come in under £10. I just need a bit of like some nice twine or something to secure them and I think they're going to do the job perfectly. And the second thing I wanted to show you was our table numbers which came from Timu. Um, so table numbers are something that I've been looking for for quite a while and everything that I found was just like really expensive for effectively just numbers on a table. Um, I've obviously had quite a long list of things that I wanted to go all out for and then table numbers was definitely one of the areas where I was happy to just kind of find something that would do the job. Frustratingly our venue Woodhill Hall has a prop shop um, where you can borrow anything like for free and just use it for your wedding um, and they do have table numbers but they only have table numbers up to seven and we have eight tables so unfortunately we can't use theirs because we'd be we'd have to find like a matching one and I think that would just be too difficult. Um, also generally a lot of the table numbers I'm seeing are like a rustic sort of loggy theme or a brown theme um, and that's not our vibe at all um, for this wedding so I just think that like something wooden would sort of stand out as clashing with the rest of the decor going for very sort of white wedding sort of classic um, yeah not rustic at all so I saw some on Etsy that I really liked which were um, just like a black number on a round circle because a lot of the things you see as well are like the vinyl ones where they're like the clear vinyl and then you can sort of personalize them or add your color on or whatever but again I didn't want color so vinyl would just be clear and it would be see-through and you wouldn't really be able to see it so um I really didn't want to spend 50 odd pounds on table numbers for these one version that I saw on Etsy that I liked um and then I just discovered Timu like I've heard of it but I haven't really used it and I thought I'll just do a bit of a search for things that I need and I haven't really found yet um and see where it gets me and I found these numbers which I just thought were absolutely perfect. I literally just need them to be on table, so tell people what table that is. I'm not bothered about reusing them in the future, they just need to be cheap and cheerful, do the job and not clash with the decor. And I found these numbers which are basically just a black number, like that's it, and they've got a flat base so that they sit. So this is number six obviously and they're just like a black vinyl and that was just exactly what I needed. It's just like a block. Um, as I say, it's not amazing quality. If you look up close, you can probably see some imperfections, but it will do the job of just like sitting on a table so that people know what number it is. Um, I'll get out another one. So this is number seven. I just thought they were ideal and they were like one pound something a number. Um, so yeah, I just was really happy when I found those. I just thought they were perfect. I'll pop them somewhere so that you can see them like they would be on a table. I'll try and find somewhere. Just pop this on the corner of my windowsill. Um, but you can see how it just stands. It'll stand on the table. It'll stand out as a number. And that's literally all I need it to do. Yeah, I'm honestly so happy with all of that. Um, and the list of things we need to buy is still immense. I feel like every day I almost need to find something just to get through it and it is getting quite stressful now but I'm really happy with everything I found so far. I feel like I'm saving money in some good places which I'm really happy about um, and yeah I'm just kind of gonna have to keep plowing through and keep going um, but it's definitely getting to a point now where I'm a little bit stressed. I've actually just realised that I don't think I've shown you Johnny's Italy suit and it's hanging up on the wardrobe so I'm gonna take you over and show you. So for Johnny's Italy suit we wanted something light because obviously it's gonna be August, it's gonna be roasting hot um, and I found the perfect suit on Vinted. I can't believe I found this. 
um, because we'd just been shopping like for Johnny's actual tux for our wedding we knew his exact sizing and I did a search on vintage and this suit came up um, and it was a perfect colour it was linen which is what I was looking for it was Johnny's size and it was £50 for both the jacket and the trousers and the person said they'd only worn them once for a wedding it was an absolute bargain um, so this is the suit here and yeah it's just a really lovely linen it's from Moss Bros which is where we've got Johnny's tux from for the wedding and they are so expensive we had a look online and their jacket alone would have been way more than £50 um, new so I'm just so so happy with yeah with finding that and um, next to it there is one of my uh, one of my evening options but I've already decided I'm not not wearing that one I just need to get it up on Vinted but yeah overall as I said we've made great progress we've got a lot of Johnny stuff sorted and actually tonight we have got um, a bespoke ring maker coming someone who we met at a wedding fair um, who makes like bespoke rings basically they make them to spec they make them to order um, we met them and they basically said they could kind of beat in any store pricing so we thought we might as well book an appointment and see what they can offer us so they're coming tonight for Johnny to choose hopefully what kind of wedding ring he wants um, and to give us some quotes so that's really exciting I've actually had my wedding ring for a year it's um, it's in this bag sitting on my dresser um yeah I got my wedding ring last January so I've literally had it over a year um and yeah I kind of feel like I did all the bridal stuff first and now we're doing all of the groom stuff so that man will be coming in about two hours so I'm gonna crack on for a bit and then I'll see if I can maybe film a little bit but I'm not sure I feel a little bit uncomfortable like filming strangers but I'll see if I can if there's anything worth filming I don't know if he's gonna bring like rings with him Um, I'll try and show you otherwise I'll update you afterwards Ah, oh, so it is a couple of weeks later now I have not had the chance to pick up the camera it's just been crazy so I'm sorry I left it on the cliffhanger of Johnny having his ring appointment um, but I'm going to update you on that now so the man with the ring business came round um, and he was really nice and it was a really great experience so he basically brought a case of rings with him and he basically showed Johnny loads of different styles, designs, shapes and sizes, let Johnny try different like widths and sizes and all sorts of things on. And Johnny basically designed his ring completely. So he chose what like look he liked in terms of like the metal. He chose a design and um, he chose the size, the width and everything. And if he wanted any like engraving or anything, he didn't. Um, but he could have added that as well. And then he basically priced up three metal options for us. So a tungsten one, a white gold, and then a platinum. Um, platinum is 10 times the price of uh, the tungsten, <laughs> about two thirds of the price of white gold, just FYI. Um, but then he just like told us we could let him know the quote was valid for a week. So we had a little think, decided on which one we wanted to go for and place the order. So that's really exciting. So. Johnny's ring is um, is all ordered and I think it was really nice for him to have that experience that was a bit personalised as well because for the most part I feel like the wedding planning is around the bride and everything that the bride wants and yeah he's kind of just been along for the ride and he's let me have everything I want um, and he's not had too many opinions but I think it was just really nice for him to be able to have that customised experience for him um, so yeah, his ring is on the way, which is really exciting. Um, the lead time was about, I think it was about 12 weeks. So plenty of time for us. Um, we ordered it with sort of five months to go to the wedding, obviously. So yeah, just if you're interested, that's kind of lead times. But I definitely recommend it. I definitely think the pricing was more affordable in the high street as well. So don't let the thought of it being like bespoke put you off and make you think it's going to be really expensive because that's definitely not the case. And it was just a nice really nice convenient experience as well with him coming to our home and then the other thing I've been up to is I went down to Milton Keynes for one of my university friends Hindus which was really lovely and um, I had such a great time and my friend um, who's getting married and this we were sort of like a trio at uni and um, so I haven't seen her and my other friend for seven years basically since I left um, Hertfordshire where I used to live and moved back up to Newcastle so 
yeah, I mean, obviously with like social media and stuff, you feel like you see people and keep in touch with people, but I haven't physically seen them in that long. It definitely didn't feel like it had been that long and it was just so lovely to see them. And it made me really excited for all the events coming up because obviously we've got her wedding, then we've got my Hindu and my wedding. So I'm seeing them both quite a few times in a short space of time compared to seven years of nothing. So yeah, it was really lovely. I had so much fun um, on the Hindu as well. I obviously didn't vlog. I might have a couple of videos or pictures I can pop in while I'm talking, but it is the first time I've been out and danced in probably seven years as well. So yeah, it was just such a laugh. It was just so lovely. It was lovely to catch up and I had a great time and it made me really excited for my Hindu. So this vlog has pretty much been in a haul of everything I've been buying. I feel like that's very much the stage that I'm in with wedding planning at the moment. It's all like stuff to buy. I'd say the actual planning is like probably three quarters of the way, if not more there. So you know, I've booked everyone, I've briefed everyone, I've written like my photography and videography briefs and found all my inspirational pics for flowers and cake and hair and makeup and everything like that and it is all the bits to buy. That and then a load of meetings which will be coming in like the last month before the wedding where I'll meet with all the suppliers. So yeah, this month, like five months out, has definitely been all about the shopping, all about the stuff to buy. Um, but next month is going to be very action packed in terms of actual wedding planning stuff. So before I say bye, um, I'm going to show you some stuff that I just bought at Primark and also a dress that I ordered as a possible evening dress for my Italy wedding. Um, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to keep that, so I'll show you. Um, but yeah, that's the last couple of bits I have to show you to round off this vlog. So Primark, I've just got in all of their wedding stuff. It's obviously like the time of year, the season, for wedding season. They've been getting loads of stuff in. Um, they've got like sweatshirts and all different things. So I just wanted to show you some bits that I've picked up. So I already have my outfit for the morning of my wedding when I'm getting ready at Woodhill Hall. I've got a nighty and a little lace dressing gown. And you know, why we use stuff? <laughs> because I feel like you only do this once, but in my case, I'm only doing it twice. And I kind of feel like I want to do all the different looks. So because I've got a nighty and a lace dressing gown for England, I thought I'd go with like the pyjama look for Italy. Um, and I just saw these in Primark and thought they were really nice. Um, so they're just like a classic satin bridal pyjamas with bride in like, like a little embellished um, back. I don't know how well you can see it. But yeah, they're just like a nice, they're almost like a cream, they're not white, um, but a satin pyjama set and they've got the shorts as well. Um, and I'm also going to take these on my Hindu because we're staying in a house and I definitely think I'll be in my pyjamas for part of it. So I thought they were perfect for that. And they were £15 um, for the pyjama set, which I really thought wasn't bad at all for like bride stuff because that stuff's always marked up in cost. Another thing I picked up um, was one of their stretchy like bra tops. So basically I cannot go braless um, because my boobs are just too big. Um, so I thought for under like my pyjamas I definitely need something um, like a sleep tight bra or something. But Primark do these really great um, stretchy ones and I've not found anywhere really that does them um, in sizes that are suitable for people with bigger boobs. Um, but Primark do. So I got a large and I'm a size G cup and this fits like really well. Um, I did try the extra large as well and that was way too big. So the large fits perfectly and it gives me enough support that I don't feel like, you know, my boobs are completely out there for the world to see, which when I go braless, I definitely do feel that way. And then for something that I totally don't need, but just wanted to get, um, they had some Team Bride socks. Again, these could be really good for the Hindu. Um, so I picked them up. They were only three pounds. And I know that I am just shopping for shopping sake now, but this is the one area that I'm kind of letting myself do it is for the wedding. I think it's the last time that I really will splurge like this and I'm still being mindful. I've made plenty of cutbacks. Um, but yeah, I am allowing myself these few little like over the top extras because I just have been looking forward to it for so long and it's just really fun.
The next thing I picked up was just a scrunchie, um, but just like a big white one in case during like the hen do or, you know, just any wedding setting I need to stick my hair up. I just thought, why not get a massive scrunchie? <laughs> and then the last things that I bought were some of the famous flip flops. So I needed these for my bridesmaids. Um, and basically Primark do flip flops for a pound and um, this is just for the morning of the wedding and um, so they've got their pyjamas and I just wanted them to have something to pop on their feet um, and slippers were kind of out of budget because actually slippers aren't cheap at all and I just thought flip flops were perfect. I've gone for pink because my bridesmaids are wearing like a sage green and pink pyjama set and um, to be honest if they had sage I probably would have gone with sage but they didn't so I just went with the pink. And as I say, they're only a pound, so they're an absolute bargain. So that's all the stuff that I got at Primark. I would definitely recommend heading there because, as I say, they've got plenty of bridal stuff. They've got lots of, like, Hindu stuff. Um, they've got sweatshirts with, like, Team Bride on and stuff. So definitely head there if you're looking for some Hindu and bridal merch. Um, that's everything I got. I'm now going to pop my coast dress on and show you that. I actually just got my nails redone as well. This time I went for green um, but these aren't chrome because I went for uh, red chrome last time. These look quite chromey but they're not chrome and I really personally wouldn't recommend the chrome. Um, I've been getting my nails done for years. I've had a big gap um, but yeah I got them done for years and I've never had an issue with them chipping and stuff with gel and the chrome just did not last at all um, which I'm really disappointed about because I had my eye on like a pearly chrome nail for the wedding and in my next appointments I'm going to start trialing like bridal colours um, but yeah like literally the next day the chrome started to rub and chip and it just did not last at all so there's a little tip for you if you're looking to get wedding nails and you've got your eye on chrome definitely test it out and see if it lasts because for me it didn't Okay, so this is the dress, the coast dress. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's basically a satin, like, Mikado type dress. Um, and it's got a lovely bow on the back, and I really, really love it. But it does not fit <laughs> at all. Um, yeah, it's not even close to fitting. I'm really gutted because I actually sized up on this dress. It is one size up from my normal size and it is the same size of other dresses I've bought from Coast and they fit. Um, so it's definitely specific to this dress. But I just love it so much for Italy. Um, obviously I wouldn't wear these shoes with it. I've just stuck these shoes on. But it's like a cute little mini dress. It's a very bridal. Um, but obviously it's going to be boiling hot in Italy so I felt like I needed something to change into. Um, but yeah, it's just not even close to fitting on this bust area um, and I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to take it to a seamstress and see if they could alter it and put more material in because they are completely sold out of this online. Um, I just got my hands on this one. It obviously like came in and I saw it and got it um, and they're just out of stock of every size. Um, obviously I'm keeping an eye on Vinted but it is just perfect, it's exactly what I wanted. Um, I just love that bow back and oh, I'm just gutted. I just really really love it, I love that back and yeah I'm just wondering whether a seamstress could actually put a panel in with it being a plain material. It's just completely my bust just does not fit at all which is the usual problem. So got here my evening before dress for our party the night before our wedding at Woodhill Hall. I'm not going to show you it yet, so that's, that's just a little sneak peek, um, but that I absolutely love. I'm so happy with it. So we are slowly but surely getting there, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, help me decide what to do with this dress. Should I take it to a seamstress or is it a lost cause? So yeah, that is it for this month. Um, five to six months to go. Uh, as I said, it's been pretty much shopping. It's starting to feel very real. Um, I'm definitely starting to feel like I'm in my bridal era. 
Um, next month is a really full on wedding planning month. It's a really exciting month. Um, we have got loads that we're doing. Basically every weekend is wedding related stuff. Um, so I'm going to try veils on and I'm going to get to put my dress back on, which I'm really excited about. We are heading up to our church for a service there and we are going to stop in at Woodhill and see if we can spy um, some of the renovations that's been going on. Um, we're also taking my dad suit shopping um, so we can choose the groomsmen suits and we've got my friend's wedding that I mentioned um, so yeah I'm really excited to go to her wedding obviously and also just with it being a wedding so close to ours I feel like I'll be living through the day like taking note of everything um, so there's that and then at the end of the month I have my bridal alterations appointment which I cannot believe that day has come so it's basically been a year since um since I went dress shopping originally and yeah I'm gonna be getting my alterations started so as I say it's a full-on wedding planning month so I'll be vlogging as much of that as possible and yeah it's just getting so real thank you so much for watching this vlog I really hope you've enjoyed it particularly if you're currently shopping for wedding new bits I hope it's given you some inspiration but thanks for watching and I'll see you really soon in the next one Bye.